Life is a boomerang. What we're sending out is going to come back. So what we're doing is we're becoming empowered because we're creating that loving, beautiful, soft, open space within ourselves, despite of what the external world is bringing to us. It's taking back our power. And that's what this show is all about. In today's busy world, how can we find the inspiration, knowledge, and energy to live a healthy and empowered life? If we balance and harmonize our mind, exercise our body, live according to the laws of nature, and connect to spirit, can we find a way to heal, become our authentic self, and live our purpose with love? I am your hostess, Amy Fournier, and welcome back to Awakening Aphrodite. Hello friends, I know you're interested in being as healthy and as fit and happy as possible and we can't be healthy and fit and happy if we're stressed out and we're going to be stressed out if we're worried about money, if we're worried about security and money and security go together. We all need to feel financially secure. It's craziness out there. But one thing that I found that's made me feel a lot better and has really helped me sleep at night is finding a great resource that I can trust for getting real gold and silver. Gold and silver is a great hedge against inflation. This resource is fantastic. It's meant for the everyday person, just like you and me, that don't know anything about gold and silver. You might want to diversify your assets a little bit and have a little bit of safeguard in gold and silver. Well, if so, please contact me. You can find it on my website, amyfournier.com under financial freedom, or just hit me up with an email at amy at amyfournier.com and put in the subject line, interested in gold and silver. And I will set you up with some great resources that you can check out and see if it's for you or not. Hey everybody, I'm sure you know how important it is to help your body properly detoxify. My goodness, if we really looked at how many toxins we are exposed to, toxins in the air, toxins inside homes, mold, furnishings, as well as food sources, all these things that our bodies are dealing with, we got to help it out. Energy Bits Algae Tabs are nutrition powerhouses that are great, not only for detoxification, but also for energy and for beauty. Why? Because they help your skin, which is a huge detoxification organ, and it helps the collagen in your skin and helps to keep it plump and looking clear and bright and clean. I love Energy Bits. I mean, this is a super food. I can't emphasize enough. You can use my coupon code, AmyF, at checkout, and you can save a whopping 20%. Try them. Let me know what you think. I promise you won't be disappointed. Welcome back to Awakening Aphrodite podcast with Amy Fournier. This show is about helping you to be healthy and fit in mind, body, and spirit, as well as harmonize your masculine and feminine energy, tap into your intuition, your true source of power, and awaken your authentic self. Today, I'm going to share with you something really beautiful. It's I've heard it called different things, but we're going to refer to it as the Buddhist Meta Loving Kindness Prayer. You might have heard a version of this somewhere along the way, maybe in like a really cool yoga class, or if you're a member of a spiritual group or a women's circle, or or just maybe in a spiritual book or something that you're reading. But it's a simple and profound prayer of loving kindness extend to yourself and others that we can begin right now by creating more love and healing and compassion in the world and to help ourselves be a blessing not only to ourselves but our but to others and the world at large to be part of the solution and i don't know about you but 2024 for me is all going to be about being positive staying positive no matter what life is throwing at me and it's throwing stuff at me as I'm sure it is at you. I am going to stay positive and grounded in my faith that love is the most powerful force there is and that I ultimately am divinely guided and protected as long as I keep my my compass on love and trying to help and learn lessons and grow and evolve even if it's painful I'm going to put my rudder and my focus right on that belief that everything is happening for me, not to me. How about you? 
Do I get an amen? <laughs> Can I get an hallelujah? So I think the Buddhist meta-loving kindness prayer is a great place for all of us to start. Okay? So there's many different versions of it. I'm going to be referring to a kind of a mishmash of different references that I put together in preparation for you today. So basically, it'll be a compilation of different referrals from a source called Heart Song Yoga and the teaching of Stephen Smith. Okay? All right, so here we go. Now, I realize you might be driving or taking a walk or whatever. I know a lot of us multitask when we listen to podcasts, and that's beautiful. But do your best to try to really do this along with me, okay? Because it's one thing to listen, and that's great. But the way we really make changes and really embody these things, we've got to embody these things to really manifest. Please try to do this with me, literally, okay? All right. Now, obviously, you don't want to close your eyes if you're driving or it's not safe or whatever, but you can actually say these things with me, okay? The way I'm going to do it is, it's a series of, of um, they're not affirmations, they're intentions. I'm going to say it once, and then you're going to say it, repeat it back with me. So I'll end up saying it twice. The first time I'll say it for you to hear it, and then I'm going to say it again for you to say it with me. All right, because I'd really like for us to do this together. And then obviously save this episode or look up the Buddha loving kindness meditation prayer for yourself online and you can print it out and then you can do it yourself. Okay. It's really simple. It's really easy. But the whole idea is the basic concept of extending love and kindness to ourselves and the world at large. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. So. A meta or basically loving kindness is basically unconditional inclusive love and it's a love with wisdom. It has no conditions. It does not depend on whether or not one deserves it or not. And it is not restricted to just friends or family. It extends out from personal categories to include all living beings. There are no exceptions of anything or expectations or things in return for extending this loving kindness. That's really important, right? It's not a tit for tat. It's not, I'm going to do this to help get your security or that, you know, you want to stay in relationship with me or so you approve of me. There's nothing expected in return. It's, It's given unconditionally without expecting something back in some regard. So this is the ideal pure love, which everyone has in potential. So we begin this by loving ourselves, for unless we have this measure of unconditional love and acceptance for ourselves, it's difficult to extend it to others. I'm sure you've heard that before, right? You can't truly love something else unless you love yourself first. Easier said than done, but this is going to help. After that, We include others who are special to us and ultimately then to all living things. Gradually, both the visualization of the meditation phrases blend into the actual experience and the feeling of loving kindness. This is a meditation of care, concern, tenderness, and friendship, a feeling of warmth for ourselves and others. The practice is the softening of the mind and the heart and the opening to a deeper and deeper level of feeling of kindness of pure love. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so to begin, you just want to be in a very comfortable posture. Take some deep belly breaths in through your nose. (sighs) Nice long exhales through the mouth. If you're lucky enough to have your feet on the ground, you go ahead and straighten your spine because you know your spine is an antenna and you want to just open up that fluid flow of energy and life force through your body as you connect the heavens and the earth. Breathing again in through the nose with me and out through the mouth, coming into the body, relax your shoulders, just move around any tight spots. One more time, we're going to breathe together in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, so like I said, I am going to read each line twice so the second time you can read with me. Here we go. May I be free from inner and outer harm and danger. May I feel safe and protected. 
together. May I be free from inner and outer harm and danger. May I feel safe and protected. May I be free of mental suffering or distress. Together, may I be free of mental suffering or distress. May I be happy. Together, may I be happy. May I be free of physical pain and suffering. Together, may I be free of physical pain and suffering. May I be healthy and strong. Together, may I be healthy and strong. And may I be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully, and with ease. Together, may I be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully, and with ease. Okay, next we're going to move to a person who... Basically, you find it very easy to love unconditionally. Now, I want to add, this could also be a creature. Like, I you often think of one of my dogs, okay? Because I just love them so much. And that's what really animals are. They just embody that unconditional love. That's why we love them so much. Okay, so if it's hard for you to think of actual human being, maybe there's too much baggage or too many trigger points, or maybe you want to think of a child, you know, you just love unconditionally or anything that you just want to really get that connection, that physical embodied connection of that warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart. Okay, you got somebody in mind? You got it? Or something? All right, now we're going to repeat together. And I'm only going to read them once this time because we're going to say you directing this intentional prayer toward that person or creature. Okay, here we go. If you can, say it with me. (laughs) Here we go. May you be free from inner and outer harm and danger. May you feel safe and protected. May you be free of mental suffering or distress. May you be happy. May you be free of physical pain and suffering. May you be healthy and strong. May you be able to live in this world happily peacefully, joyfully, and with ease. Okay, now we're going to move to a person that you think of as a friend or somebody that you do love, someone that's in your heart center. Here we go. May you be free from inner and outer harm or danger. May you feel safe and protected. May you be free of mental suffering or distress. May you be happy. May you be free of physical pain and suffering. May you be healthy and strong. May you be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully, and with ease. Now we're going to move to a neutral person. This is where it starts getting interesting, okay? It's really easy to be super spiritual and take the high road when things are going well, right? Or you love someone or they're making you feel happy. It's another story and we really got to use our spiritual muscles. And this is where our growth comes in when it's challenging, when we're hurt by somebody or when someone pisses us off or we don't like somebody or we don't agree with what they're saying or whatever, right? So this is where spiritual evolution comes into play. Here's your opportunity. So now I'd like you to think of somebody that you feel neutral about, okay? You neither strongly like or dislike them, okay? Just kind of neutral. Maybe it's just an acquaintance, a coworker, whatever, but there's no kind of emotional hot buttons there and they're not tapped into your heart space. Here we go. May you be free from inner and outer harm and danger. May you feel safe and protected. May you be free of mental suffering or distress. May you be happy. May you be free of physical pain and suffering. May you be healthy and strong. May you be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully, and with ease. How'd you do? I hope you're visualizing that person while you're saying these things. Or even visualizing them while I'm reading them, 
Remember, it's more powerful if you actually speak the words out loud from your unique soul print of your voice, your voice print, express that sound frequency energy. We know as much more manifestational power than just thinking the thought. Writing does as well. Handwriting, not typing, by the way, using your own handwriting of the physical movement of the pen or the pencil. So if you can, take it to that next level by speaking it out loud. That's why saying prayers and saying things, saying affirmations, saying your beliefs, all that is much more powerful, either for the good or the bad, than just thinking them. Thinking is bad enough because your body's hearing it, but it's like it goes to the next level. The universe hears it when you actually speak it out loud. So if you can, speak these things with me, but at the very least, visualize that person or thing in your head while I'm reading them, okay? All right. Now we're going to move to someone that you have difficulty with, maybe even hostile feelings or even resentments. We're going to repeat these phrases for this person. Now, look, if you have difficulty doing this, okay, because remember, if you don't, if you don't really believe it, it's not going to have any power at all. It's just like basically a waste of time. So like, it's like saying something like, you know, you do an affirmation and you say, I make a million dollars a year or, you know, I am super successful or I have a wonderful relationship and you don't, right? Or you don't think it's possible for you. Your body is just, it's not going to have any, it's not going to have any weight to it. It's not going to have anything behind it because you really don't believe it, okay? If you don't believe something is possible, then it, it's, it's a waste of time for you even to try to do the affirmation. You've got to make it so you emotionally buy in. That means you've got to be creative in how you phrase things. So you could say something like, just back to that example, you could say something like, this year, I'm going to make more money than I ever have. And eventually, I'm going to make a million dollars. Just something like that. To me, that sounds more realistic than me just saying, I'm going to make a million dollars this year, you know, because that just, to me, it's like, oh, really? That is so far off from where I am now. <laughs> it's not practical at all. So when we're saying these meta intention prayers for people that you don't like or who have hurt your feelings, you've got to say it in a way that at least your mind, body, soul are in alignment as to this is really, truly how I feel. Okay. Otherwise it's powerless. So if that's the case, you can say something like, to the best of my ability, I wish that you are happy or whatever, okay? <laughs> so you have a choice. So you can either say, may you be free or whatever, or you can say, to the best of my ability, I wish that you are free, okay? You know what I'll do? I'm going to say it that way for us today. I want to keep this powerful and authentic, okay? So I'm going to take a chance that you pick somebody that really pisses you off and that you don't like at all. And you probably feel like you got a really good reason not to, okay? And that's cool. But we're still going to extend loving kindness to them. We're going to take the high road, all right? So here we go. You visualizing that person? All right, here we go. To the best of my ability, I wish that you are free from inner and outer harm and danger and that you feel safe and protected. To the best of my ability, I wish that you be free of mental suffering or distress. To the best of my ability, I wish that you are happy. To the best of my ability, I wish that you are free from physical pain and suffering. To the best of my ability, I wish that you are healthy and strong. May you be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully, and with ease. All right. And lastly, after we did that really hard person, we're going to now radiate loving kindness out to all beings and all creatures. Try to stay in touch with that warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart, that tender loving kindness center that is your true self, your true being. And really try to envision and engender that feeling of, of compassion and extending, opening yourself to all living beings. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. This is for all beings. May you be free from inner and outer harm and danger. May you feel safe and protected. May you be free of mental suffering or distress. May you be happy. May you be free of physical pain and suffering. 
May you be healthy and strong. May you be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully, and with ease. Well, there you have it, my friends. Now, you can obviously take this next level and plug in any person, place, or thing and repeat the meta prayer phrases for each of them. You can go back and do repetitions of this. Some people like to do it every day for a week or whatever. First thing in the morning is a great time to do it. And you know what? It's a great time to do when you're really struggling with somebody. Maybe you're actually in the thick of really feeling emotionally triggered by something, person, place, or thing. And you've got all these negative feelings inside your body. We know that's not good for us, right? So it's a way of recentering yourself, reconnecting with love and that compassion and kind of just letting it go and knowing that life is a boomerang. What we're sending out is going to come back. So what we're doing is we're becoming empowered because we're creating that loving, beautiful, soft, open space within ourselves, despite of what the external world is bringing to us. It's taking back our power. And that's what this show is all about. I hope you enjoyed the episode today. I already can't wait to be with you again, and I'll see you next time on Awakening Aphrodite. Would you like to support my mission to help empower people all over the world to be all of who they truly are? If so, please subscribe to the show, leave a review on iTunes, and share it with a friend. And if you're looking to take immediate action to align your energy and optimize your health, visit amyfournier.com. Thanks for listening to Awakening Aphrodite. Let's awaken her together in you. I'm your hostess, Amy Fournier, and I already can't wait to be with you again and for you to hear what I have planned for the next show. Thanks for listening to Awakening Aphrodite with Amy Fournier. To learn more about Amy, check out her website, amyfournier.com. That's A-M-Y-F-O-U-R-N-I-E-R.com. You can also check out Amy's live and on-demand virtual fitness and yoga classes and sign up for her newsletter to receive a free mini ebook of three of her top tips for making holistic health a lifestyle. Again, that's amyfournier.com and get your ebook sent to your email immediately. Connect with Amy on the daily on Instagram at fitamytv, F-I-T-A-M-Y-T-V. And watch many of the podcast episodes and subtopic clips on her YouTube channel, which is also Fit Amy TV. Enjoy, and we'll see you next time on Awakening Aphrodite.